I can see right through you. I know that you clicked on this video because you're like, dude, Dan released a video where I only have to work out for 15 minutes a day and I can lose body fat. So actually the truth is yes, you can do that. And, I, and we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to take you through day one through seven. What would your week look like if you only had 15 minutes a day to exercise and still lose body fat and get ripped? It's actually totally doable. So I'm going to give you a, a little mini shortcut, but first I want to start by saying if your goal is to lose a lot of weight, don't have the mindset of doing the bare minimum. If you have literally no time to work out, this is a great video for you to watch. But I also, I don't want you to do the bare minimum. I want you to take this information, work hard, lose some weight, get fit, and then hopefully you get to a place where you have more time to exercise than just 15 minutes a day. But as we always say on this channel, something's better than nothing. I'm gonna take you through what a week would look like exercising 15 minutes a day. Now you can choose to exercise seven days a week. So, you know, every single day for 15 minutes, or you can have one to two rest days. So you could just do Monday through Friday, 15 minutes. The reason that I'm saying this, and the reason why I don't think it matters if you exercise for five days or seven days per week is because it's mostly gonna come down to food as it usually does. So we're gonna get into that in a little bit, but um, yeah, let's go. Let's make it very simple. Three times per week, you need to be doing some form of resistance training. So let's say on Monday, you have 15 minutes. I would literally do 100 push-ups, And then on Wednesday, I would try to do 50 pull-ups. And if you can't do 50 pull up not in a row, you know, sets of five, sets of four, I don't care, sets of three till you get to 50. If you can't even do one pull-up, then I would just stick to the push-ups for right now. Or if you can just do 20 pull-ups, whatever, 10 pull-ups in 15 minutes, then go ahead and do that. But basically what I'm saying is Monday, Wednesday, let's, for example, every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, you should be doing some form of resistance training. Push-ups, pull-ups, squats, and jumping lunges are my favorite. And then on your non-resistance training days, I would just do super intense jump rope sprints. So if you're new to jumping rope, that can be as easy as just like, you can just jump rope for 30 second sets the whole way up to 15 minutes. So 30 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest for 15 minutes. Again, guys, doing something is better than doing nothing. So if you're an absolute beginner, I think it's perfect perfectly fine to start off just doing 10 to 15 minutes of light jump rope every other day or three times a week. And like I said, some body weight exercises three times a week to get your body used to just moving again and burning calories. So if you're not a beginner, and you're more of an advanced athlete, but like, I don't know, maybe you're in law school and you have a full-time job and you have four kids and you just have no time. So you literally have 15 minutes a day to exercise. If you're good at jumping rope already, this is what I'd recommend. Minute long sets of jump rope, resting like 20 seconds in between each. So in a 15 minute span, you'll probably be able to fit like 10 sets of this. The first 30 seconds of the minute, you're gonna do like 50%, you know, boxer skip, freestyle, just kind of chilling, right? The last 30 seconds of that minute you are going to sprint so this workout is very similar to going to a track and running sprints i feel that if your goal is weight loss and building a lean muscular physique high intensity interval training is the best way to do that so running hill sprints running sprints or doing super fast sprinting with a weighted jump rope preferably you know check out the one that we got it's the best for losing weight 60 day money back guarantee basically i just think the most effective way for burning the most calories is by doing high intensity interval training so super intense jump rope on the days that you're not doing resistance training. I want to interrupt this video to talk about Black Friday because there's some huge discounts that you guys can take advantage of both for Crossrope and the JRD app. So first, let's talk about Crossrope. 25% off site-wide and you don't need a code. So just go to the link that you see up here on the screen. We also have it linked up in the description of this video. Crossrope is offering 25% off of everything. And then they also have larger discounts on other select thing. So 30% off select bundles and sets, the amp jump rope set, jump rope mat, the splash, not the travel mat. Save 40% on apparel, save 50% on freestyle and beaded ropes, save 50% on the wad prep jump rope set, and save 10% on their new product, the spin jumper. The cross rope Black Friday sale is going to run from November 20th until December 6th. 25% off site-wide by going to this link down here and then also 
just peruse the site because you're gonna find a bunch of other just bigger discounts that they have on select items. As far as the JRD app is concerned, we are offering a full year membership for 50% off. So the code for that is 50BF50, capital B, capital F. This is gonna be running from November 20th through December 2nd. So again, 50% off the JRD app using code 50BF, capital B, cap, so 50 BF, it's all that information's up here on the screen, but for a whole year access to the Jarity app, it's 82 bucks. That is insane. It's just a huge discount on all of our programs because in the app, you get access to every single program that we've ever created, three month programs, one month programs. We have the nutrition system in there. The Jarity app is the best way if you're someone who wants to make a transformation and be held accountable, that's the best option to do it. We also have an accountability forum in there to make sure everyone is sticking to their goals. I'm also in there giving people coaching and just you have access to me that you don't have on other social platforms. So that's Black Friday. Check it out and let me know if you have any questions. Now I will throw a caveat in here. Walking is not included in this 15 minutes. The 15 minutes that I'm talking about is specifically for exercise. So even if you have a desk job, there's still reasons for you to be walking throughout the day. So in addition to these 15 minute workouts, I would also suggest walking as much as you possibly can. Some days it might be 10k steps some days it might only be 2k steps but whatever it is try to get in the habit of walking in addition to these 15 minute workouts now let me remind you of the thing that everyone hates putting into practice if you are not eating in a calorie deficit none of what i'm saying matters because again remember you decided to only work out for 15 minutes a day so that's not that much time that you're going to have dedicated to burning calories and so therefore you got to be extra careful with your food and to go even a step further the honest truth is guys you could not exercise at all and you could just eat very you could eat in a calorie deficit and eat a high protein diet and you're gonna lose weight and you're gonna be able to see more of your muscle underneath there the reason why I don't suggest this is because I think that exercise is really good for you there's so many benefits to exercising just a few of which come to mind are it keeps you healthier longer so it keeps your joints healthy and stuff like that if you are not moving your body by the time you hit 50 or 60 you're just gonna feel you're going to be in pain. You're not going to feel good. And then losing weight is going to be even harder. So just for simple longevity, I would recommend it. Also for internal organ health and heart health and benefiting your cardiovascular system, all that kind of stuff, I think is very, that's, that's why we exercise. You can't just eat healthy and not exercise and expect to be the healthiest version of yourself. It's, I think the best outcome is when you combine eating whole unprocessed foods with a slight calorie deficit with a healthy exercise routine routine, I think that's the best way to lose body fat. So you can do one of two things. You can click this video right here, which is my super simple diet. I break down exactly how I eat in a very simple way to stay super lean year round. Or you can download the PDF version of that, that video. We have a P we just turned the video into a PDF, which you can like print out and put on your wall as a reminder. That's also linked up here and in the description if you want to check that out as well. And yes, we are going to ask for your email. Yeah, that's basically it. It's not very it's not that much different from the other information I give on this channel but is it possible to start seeing results and start making some progress if you're only exercising 15 minutes a day absolutely yes like exercising five minutes a day is still better than doing nothing because again it's not about the exercise it's about creating the habit once you have created the habit doing that thing that's going to give you the good result in this case being losing body fat is just not as hard anymore it's easy for me to stay lean because I've been exercising for like 25 years. Like I don't, I don't even think about exercise. It's something I do every single day, pretty much. And again, I don't really put much thought into it because it's built into who I am. It's built into my lifestyle. So I hope this video is motivating for you because I want to see people who struggle get better and have more confidence in themselves. Cause I'm someone who struggled with my weight for a long time, my self image, my self confidence. And I feel like through building habits and staying intentional and staying true to myself and really like, you know, looking in the mirror and being like, am I doing the best I can? Or can I, you know, can I be a little bit better? I've gotten to a good place of where I really, I like myself and I like, I like what I've created. I like my routine. I like my life. Um, sure. I still struggle every single day with, you know, numerous things, various life things that we have going about, but I'm, I can say that I'm in such a better position now than I was five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, etc. So I think the point 
that I wanna leave you with for this video is even if you're just starting out, start small, be consistent, and build gradually from there. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. I always look in there. I don't respond to all the comments, but I try to respond to most of them because at the end of the day, life is really cool and awesome and there's so many different things you could be interested in. And my goal with Jump Rope Dudes is to make fitness and health accessible and to make it easy and understandable so you can just take care of that part of your life and then you can go do all these other cool things. I've, my goal is not to have health and fitness be the main thing that you focus on in life. So having said that, appreciate you guys. Leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video.